Good morning, good Thursday evening to you. 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm here with Weather for Weather Geeks. I had the opportunity to throw out the first pitch at the Scrappers game this evening. I haven't thrown a baseball probably in 25 years. I did not practice this week. But all in all, I would give my effort a C plus. I didn't throw it over the catcher's head. I didn't skip it halfway there. It was way outside. It was not a strike. But it could have been a lot worse. And what a beautiful evening it uh, is in Niles at Eastwood uh, Field and throughout the rest of the valley. The dew points have dropped very, very nicely. Now, as you uh, probably know at this point, you know, dew points a good measure of how comfortable it feels outside in the warm weather season. When the dew points are in the 60s, especially in the middle and upper 60s, that's pretty muggy, uncomfortable stuff. But dew points have dropped down into the lower 50s this evening. And today, after a few days with highs in the upper 80s, much more comfortable. Still muggy this morning, but once the humidity started dropping this afternoon and uh, the sun came out, just picture perfect. 70 was the official high at the airport at 1248. Today, we spent most of the day in the mid-60s at the airport. 70 in Akron today, 69 degrees in Cleveland. The high was 73. In Pittsburgh this afternoon, just a, uh, a big change compared to the last handful of days. This is actually looking back over the last 31. Of course, the last four previ prior, prior to today, I should say, um, way above the average, as uh, many as 12 or 13 degrees warmer than the average over the last few days. There's been some ups and downs over the, the last month. If you remember, May started out pretty cool. The rest of May was not that cool, um, with a couple of exceptions, but May went into the record books as a warmer than average month across our region. Real quick recap of the severe weather last evening. Um, these storms really meant some business, and we had a, a swath of pretty significant wind damage um, from parts of Portage County right across I-80 and uh, into Newton Falls area, parts of Warren, parts of Southington had some problems. We had some scattered uh, wind damage closer to Youngstown, heading over towards uh, the Pulaski area, New Wilmington. It's interesting, when I was doing the coverage last evening, boy, it looked like there was some big hail over here towards uh, the northeastern corner of Lawrence County and a little closer to Slippery Rock, but I haven't seen any pictures or official uh, reports from the National Weather Service of large hail in that area. The radar was very convincing last evening, but I'm a little bit surprised I just have not seen that many uh, pictures at all. In fact, I haven't seen a single picture of, of big hailstones in that part of PA. So yeah, big big uh, swath of wind damage across northern Ohio and northwest PA yesterday. Today, the severe weather threat has been several hours to our east, closer to the uh, mid-Atlantic region, DC to Baltimore, and over towards the uh, the beaches of uh, of New Jersey and Delaware and Maryland, heading down towards Virginia Beach as well. Again, the dew points are dropping very, very nicely from north to south. The last areas that have had the high dew points in our area, southern Columbiana County, but even there, the dew points are dropping. And we'll just buzz through the forecast real quickly over the next few days because, yeah, there's not much to say other than how nice it's going to be outside. This black line, of course, a little trough of low pressure, which will pivot through the Great Lakes tomorrow. We'll kick up some cumulus clouds in the afternoon after a bright and sunny start to the day, but... Uh, we will be high and dry Friday. High pressure gives us wall-to-wall -wall sunshine Saturday. I mean, just beautiful. Now, this is not a pool day on Saturday. Temperatures in the morning, climbing through the 50s into the 60s, we'll make it to 70 or so. That's, for most, most folks, a little too cool for the pool. But by Sunday, we'll approach 80 in the afternoon, and that'll be better pool weather to wrap up the weekend. Really no complaints weather-wise for the upcoming weekend. So 71 Saturday, 79 on Sunday. Humidity a non-story over the weekend. The dew points will start to creep up early next week ahead of the next system. Now, this is nothing crazy, but it'll start to get a little bit muggy on Monday, but especially Monday night into Tuesday. That's probably our best chance for some showers and some thunderstorms as a cold front heads our way, taps some of that increased uh, moisture content of the atmosphere, and uh, again, rings out a little bit of rain. We'll probably see a somewhat drier air mass for a couple of days beyond that for next week. So again, no rain to contend with until maybe a spotty shower or storm Monday afternoon, but maybe a little more likely Monday evening through parts of Tuesday. In the meantime, uh, enjoy a great Friday, a great weekend. Thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks tonight, and I'll see you back here on Monday.